Hi, Andrew here. Today we're going to test some Supervel 38 Special 90 grain jacketed hollow point. Everything else that you've seen from Supervel so far has been their newer line of solid copper hollow points. This bullet harkens back to some of the original Supervel type stuff, which is more a more traditional lead core copper jacketed cup and core type design. Of course, 90 grain is light for caliber and it's a plus P, so we should see some pretty healthy velocity out of this. Let's get out to the range. Let's shoot it through my wife's Smith & Wesson Model 638 into clear ballistics, clear gel, and see what happens. All right, guys, short, short answer. All right, guys, uh, short answer, spoiler alert, whatever. It's kind of a failure here. Um, I say kind of, because technically this second shot here did reach 12 inches, or at least the end of this track is at 12 inches. And that means that the bullet got to 12 inches and they kind of bounced back. Oddly, this is the one that lost its jacket here. The one that retained its jacket stopped at nine and a quarter inches. Nine and a quarter inches is way under the 12 inch minimum. If something came in at like say 11 and a half or whatever, and I would pass up on it and use ammunition that meets the standards that falls at like 14 to 16 inches where that ideal sweet spot is. But if somebody wanted to use something that just barely fell short of the 12 inch minimum, I wouldn't think less of them. However, ammunition that falls well short of that minimum, this nine and a half inches, that's definitely a failure. Now, this jacket separation, that's also kind of a failure and that we don't want to see jacket separation for pistol ammunition. But oddly, the reason we don't want to see jacket separation is it usually, well, it results in lower mass, which usually results in reduced penetration. And in this case, the one that lost its jacket actually went deeper. Somewhat perplexing, but, but the bottom line is neither one of these did very well. I suspect they might actually do a little bit better through heavy clothing. We'll take a look at that in a minute, but first let's get these projectiles out of here. Oh, we're still losing pieces here. Lead chunks fell off. Pedals are all folded in underneath it like that. So that is far from ideal. It's kind of a small piece of lead, lost some mass along the way here. It's not good performance. Um, sorry, there's nothing, nothing else I can say about it. Let's get you a nice close look at that projectile.
All right, so right up front, I gotta say that yes, absolutely, this certainly lives up to the name Supervel. That thing was trucking and it hurt. It positively hurt to shoot it out of that light 638. Uh, if I had any choice about the matter, I would have stopped after the first couple of rounds, but I sacrifice to give you guys the data. <laughs> but how did it do? Well, um, it was all over the place. Um, one of the rounds fell well short of the 12 inch minimum. One of the rounds just barely made the 12 inch minimum in the bare gel. Um, in the heavy clothing, one went just right up to the max and failed to expand. The other one expanded just fine. Um, it was a lot of erratic performance just all over the place. And uh, that's not, shouldn't be that surprising for a traditional cup and core 90 grain bullet. 38 Special is right on the edge performance wise. It's a small bullet diameter wise. It's a light bullet. 90 grains is ridiculously light. It's Normally, 38 Special is fairly slow moving. The only way to get it moving fast like this is to use a pretty light bullet. There, there are just too many compromises that have to be made. And that makes it very difficult to design a bullet that performs well across a wide range of circumstances. That is, there's a lot of 38 ammunition out there that penetrates adequately, but it doesn't expand. Or it doesn't expand reliably. Or it expands reliably, but it fails to penetrate adequately. There is a lot of give and take in 38 Special, and it, there are very few loads that nail those performance metrics all the way down the line. The cards are just stacked against 38. My current recommendation for 38 Special defensive purposes is Federal's 130 grain plus P HST. It's under their micro pistol line. That's the one that has the bullet seated all the way into the case. That's the one that has turned in the very best performance that I've seen so far in 38 Special. There are a few other bullets out there that do pretty well. The HST did the best. If you have any questions or if you think I got something wrong, definitely leave a comment below. I always love to hear your input on these tests. If you would like to rent a high-speed phantom camera, just like the one that I used to capture the video for this test, get in touch with Aimed Research. Their contact information is in the description. Have a great day.